The Ford F-150 will be getting a little brother soon. It's still a secret project by Ford and it's codenamed Project T3. Ford CEO Jim Farley says that Ford's new electric pickup will be like the Millennium Falcon, referring to the light freighter that's the fastest chunk of junk in the Star Wars galaxy. You may recall its signature hyperdrive propulsion system that pushed the Millennium Falcon to light speed. Well, that's a symbol of what Ford is aiming for. If that reference gives you a glimpse, we can safely assume that Project T3 intends to exceed some speed mark. Today we're looking at Project T3. We'll also look at the EV battery fire that broke out when an F-150 Lightning was charging. And we'll end up seeing how the 2023 F-150 Lightning compares to the Rivian R1T and the GMC Hummer EV. Most people know that Tesla holds the number one spot for EV makers in the US. But did you know that Ford takes the number two spot? Last year, Ford sold 61,575 EVs. And now, Ford is aiming high. It doesn't just want to reinvent the American truck, it wants to completely change the way pickups are made. And that's where Super Secret Project T3 comes in. This project is so secret that it doesn't even have an official name yet. All we know is its code name. If you're wondering about the meaning behind the code name T3, basically it's the acronym for Trust the Truck. This was the rallying cry for the team at Ford during the development process of this electric truck. The idea for this new truck is one that's dependable enough to tow haul and do whatever job they need it to do. According to Ford CEO Jim Farley, Ford is melding 100 years of Ford's truck know-how into world-class electric vehicle software and aerodynamics talent. Project T3 is slated to start production in 2025. So far, Ford hasn't released a sketch, render, or even a teaser image. So we don't really know what this new truck will look like. Ford has said that Project T3 will be a second generation electric truck, no doubt. Ford will leverage this experience it gained in developing the F-150 Lightning. But this new truck won't be a cookie cutter replacement. That's because the Lightning only entered production in 2022. Logic says that we can probably expect Project T3 to be a mid-sized truck. In other words, it'll likely be smaller than the Lightning. Ford also said that the new truck will feature its popular power export features and it will be fully digitally updatable. We also know that the truck will be built at Ford's new mega campus called Blue Oval City. Right now, the facility is under construction in West Tennessee and will stretch over 3,600 acres. Ford expects this new electric truck to require 30% less general assembly area compared to what we find at the average traditional assembly plant. At the same time, it will still operate at a higher than usual production capacity. The new Blue Oval City facility is set to produce up to 500,000 electric trucks each year when it runs at full capacity. It will cost some $5.6 billion to build, and it will create at least 6,000 jobs in Tennessee. Once complete, it will also become Ford's flagship facility as they enter the electric area. Blue Oval City will be designed to be environmentally friendly. Recovered energy from the site's utility will provide carbon neutral heating for the assembly plant. Ford plans to reduce evaporation from the facility to save 50 million gallons of water each year. It will follow a zero waste to landfill policy to reduce the strain on local resources. And battery cell construction will be on site to reduce transportation emissions. Ford also plans on investing in local communities and education through programs like Blue Oval Learning. I'm talking partnerships with local schools colleges, and universities for equipment, training programs, and internships. It helps to stimulate interest and in research in STEM fields. STEM is the acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Ford CEO Jim Farley says that Project T3 is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to revolutionize America's truck, which is interesting since the F-150 Lightning only just launched last year. Point is, Ford doesn't intend to stop with just the Lightning. On the contrary, it seeks to expand its EV lineup. In the past few years, Ford has doubled and sometimes tripled its production of its EVs like the Mustang Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning. When Project T3 is finally released, it will sit alongside the Mustang Mach-E, F-150 Lightning, the E-Transit Man, and an electric Ford Explorer that's currently only available in Europe. Blue Oval City is expected to play a key role in Ford's EV expansion plan to make 2 million electric vehicles per year by late 2026. Production is scheduled to kick out at this mega facility within 30 months. Release date for Project T3 is still unknown, but industry experts expect we'll be seeing the concept or prototype of the new electric truck either this year or early next year. Here's the thing about Ford, it has a lot of know-how when it comes to trucks. Ford reported the sales of its entire F-Series surpassed 640,000 trucks last year. That made it America's best-selling truck for 46 consecutive years, and the best-selling vehicle 41 years. If you do the math, that means last year there was an average of at least one F-Series truck sold every 49 seconds. 
Last year, the Lightning was the number one electric truck in America. Ford sold almost 16,000 units in 2022. The 2022 model was essentially a reworked version of the 14th generation F-150. If you're wondering how the 2023 Lightning compares to the 2022 model, well, they're nearly identical. Sure, the 2023 model has some added options, but the actual base truck is essentially the same. Some of the changes that were brought in with the 2023 model were things like standard range battery that offers 240 miles of driving range compared to the 230 miles you get with the 2022 model. The 2023 model also has other features like standard heated seats that reduce the load on the HVAC system. It also comes with two new available exterior colors. By the way, speaking of the Lightning, the initial base price was announced to be less than 40000 bucks. The price point caused a lot of excitement because it made more horrible than many existing EVs already in the market. But then Ford raised the price. It did it more than once. And more recently, Ford said it's raising the price yet again. This time, Ford said the price increase was because of supply chain issues and raw material costs. The base price now is just under sixty grand, or $59,974 to be exact. That's a $4,000 increase since the last hike and nearly twenty grand more than the initial estimated price. With the latest price hike, a new F-150 Lightning is around 50% more expensive than it was first debuted. This isn't the second time the Ford's changed the price. It's actually the fourth. On top of increasing the price of the base F-150 Lightning Pro model, Ford also increased the price of the Lightning Lariat and Platinum models. As a few months ago, the Lariat now costs $75,974. That's an increase of $1,500 since the last price hike. A Platinum, on the other hand, saw its price go up to $98,074. That's a $1,200 price increase. Also, all models are subject to a $1,895 destination charge too. By the way, this past February, Ford had to halt production of the F-150 Lightning. What happened was, a fire broke up while the F-150 Lightning was charging during a pre-delivery quality inspection. Ford said it would hold production for a week, but actually ended up taking a whole month. As it turns out, some of the batteries were defective. The defect caused an internal short circuit while the truck was charging. Ford blamed it on the battery supplier's production process. Speaking of battery fires, you probably saw recent headlines about a lithium-ion battery fire in New York City. To be clear, this has been happening with electric bikes and electric scooters. Apparently, this year alone, e-bike batteries have already caused at least 64 fires, killing five people in New York City. And mind you, this year is only half done. The problem is with cheap, low-quality, faulty batteries. Those are the ones that can get dangerous. And I'm sure you're probably wondering about lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. When it comes to EVs and electric bikes, the battery, at the most basic level, is the same. But a key difference is size. An e-bike battery typically has a capacity of 500 to 700 watt hours, in other words, between 0.5 to 0.7 kilowatt hours. Due to their small capacities, electric bikes typically don't need active cooling and oftentimes are only air-cooled through their casings. On the other hand, EV batteries have a much higher capacity. For example, the Ford F-150 Lightning Extended Range Battery Pack has a capacity of 130 kilowatt hours. GMC Hummer EV Pickup has a 212 kilowatt hour battery pack. So you can see how much larger EV batteries are compared to electric bikes. In fact, that's why EVs need active cooling systems and monitoring of the battery cell temperatures. Anyway, EV fires will and do occur. You may have heard of incidences in Teslas and so forth, but for the most part, it's less common than you may think. Understanding how EV batteries work, what causes them to catch fire, can help alleviate your risks and worries. Anyway, despite the production halt, Ford still sold 3,600 F-150 Lightnings through the past February. Ford also said that it believes that overall Lightning production is on track to triple this year. If you're wondering how the F-150 Lightning compares to the Rivian R1T in a GMC Hummer EV, here's a quick breakdown of the 2023 models. Right now, the Ford F-150 Lightning comes available in four trims. The Lightning Pro, which is the base trim, and there's the XLT Lariat and Platinum. Pro trim has two inboard motors, or one on each axle. These motors give this trim 775 pound-feet of torque. The F-150 Lightning comes with two battery pack options. Option one is a smaller 96 kilowatt hour battery pack, and option two is a 131 kilowatt hour battery pack that offers up to 320 miles of driving range. With a larger battery pack, the truck can output 580 horsepower. It also means this electric truck can tow up to 10,000 pounds in the XLT and Lariat trims. But for the base trim, the towing capacity gets cut in half to just 5,000 pounds. I'm sure it won't surprise you to hear that the most expensive electric truck out of the three is the Hummer EV. The Edition 1 costs $113. That's more than twice the cost of the F-150 Lightning Pro. The current available powertrain for the GMC Hummer EV includes three electric motors that generate up to 1,000 horsepower. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 in as little as 3 seconds. I'm talking up to 11,500 pound-feet of torque. 
As far as towing capacity is concerned, the Hummer EV is not all that impressive. I'm talking 7,500 pounds. The electric pickup is powered by GM's new Altium battery technology, which enables the truck to get up to 350 miles of range per charge. Derivian R1T has a higher base price than the Ford F-150 Lightning, and it starts at $73,000. Derivian R1T is a two-row, five-seat electric truck that can accelerate from 0 to 60 in about three seconds, similar to the Hummer EV. It comes with some serious towing capability of up to 11,000 pounds. That's close to 3,500 pounds more than the GMC Hummer EV. Depending on the battery and motor you select, the Rivian R1T can give you anywhere from 260 all the way to 400 or more miles of range. Other exciting features are the R1T's ability to rock crawl at 100% grade, drive over 3 feet of water, and traverse almost any terrain with 14.9 inches of ground clearance. The Rivian R1T also comes with three unique tire options made specifically for this truck. You have this option of choosing between 20 inch all-terrain tires, 21 inch road tires, or 22 inch sport tires. But now, you tell me, how do you think the Ford Project T3 will fare compared to the F-150 Lightning? And which EV truck gets your vote? The 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning, Rivian R1T, or GMC Hummer EV? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.